Dear viewers, we have learned disappointing details from the life of the royal family. William showed that he disowned his brother. The prince's appearance, Meghan's appearance. Now we will understand what really happened. Where's the truth and where's the gossip? Yesterday was a very busy day for the Prince of Wales, given his prolonged absence due to Kate's illness. The heir to the throne took part in an investiture at Windsor Castle, presenting 50 awards on behalf of the King. William then went to a charity dinner at the London Air Ambulance Centre, of which he is a patron. During his speech, the Prince could not avoid the topic of diseases that have overtaken the royal family. However, it would be naive to believe that he would somehow clarify the situation with Kate's illness or say something more than what Buckingham Palace announced or the newspapers wrote. The Hare's speech was mostly about the work of the ambulance center and the involvement of rescue helicopters, the pilot of one of which he was once a pilot. As for the references to the King and Princess of Wales, William expectively expressed his gratitude for the support and warm words the royal family has received over the weeks. I would like to take this opportunity to also thank you for your kind words of support for Catherine and my father, especially in recent days. It means a lot to all of us, the prince said. It's fair to say that the last few weeks have had more of a medical focus. So I thought I would come to the air ambulance center to get away from it all. The evening was not without humor, as Hollywood actor Tom Cruise, who has always tried to get to royal events and be seen next to the monarchs, was also in attendance. William jokingly asked the actor to be careful with the rescue helicopter he allegedly borrowed for one of his movies. I must also take this opportunity to mention my, our fellow pilot Tom Cruise. Tom, thank you so much for supporting us tonight. And Tom, I'd appreciate it if you didn't insist on borrowing one of the new helicopters for the next Mission Impossible. We've all seen on our screens that, how can I put this? You seem to have a different view of normal wear and tear than the rest of us. That's not what makes it stronger. Despite the jokes, however, the mood in the royal family is not at all jovial. Harry's arrival doesn't seem to have pleased the king, who was allegedly unhappy that he had to delay his helicopter for a few minutes before heading to Sandringham because of his son. Judging by the stories of royal experts, Charles has absolutely no care about Harry and no one, he only wanted to go to Norfolk to be in peace and quiet with his Camilla. And Harry? He flew in, and he flew out, who cares if he wants to see his sick father? The father certainly doesn't. As the Telegraph reporter reported, Charles is more concerned about what will become of Camilla and her family if something suddenly happens to him. According to his closest friends, the king will be most worried about the queen after his diagnosis, the newspaper said. However, William has also shown complete indifference to his brother's arrival, and according to royal expert Jenny Bond, the Prince of Wales has cut Harry out of his life. This clearly demonstrates that when he becomes king, Harry will be welcomed by no one in Britain at all. William has shown today that he has disowned Harry, doesn't want to know him and his brotherly love is probably gone. Harry is simply not part of his life, royal expert Jenny Bond told the Daily Mail newspaper. This rift is so deep now and it's evident by the fact that Harry was here and they haven't met so deep that I do wonder if it can ever be mended. However, what went on behind the scenes of Harry's stay in London is just speculation and conjecture by Sussex experts who need to comment on the situation whether they have information or not. There is no evidence that Harry sought a meeting with his brother, nor is there any evidence that Charles is seeking reconciliation with his son. Judging by the length of the meeting, he is not. Meanwhile, the Duke of Sussex has flown to his second homeland. The paparazzi captured the Duchess on the roads of Montecito, driving around in her Range Rover. Meghan was wearing a white baseball cap, her white-toothed smile gleaming ominously through the car window. The Prince's wife was nonchalantly sipping coffee from a mug, but where she was going and why? It is unknown. Against the background of Charles's diagnosis, 
the Duchess decided to keep silent and most likely did the right thing.